Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about anything. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. In case there was any doubt, the Maple Leafs are going for it. NHL trade deadline, 3 p.m. today, and it's obvious Leafs GM Cal Dubas is in the buying mood. He didn't go nuts, but what he did was smart and needed, especially if you want to play four rounds of hockey this spring and summer. Yesterday, the Leafs picked up forwards Nick Foligno and Stefan Newson. They also added a backup goalie, getting David Riddick from the Flames. With Frederick Anderson's status up in the air, it made sense. Combine that with the free agent acquisitions last year of Joe Thornton, Wayne Simmons, and T.J. Brody. Combine that with goalie Jack Campbell having won 11 games and losing none this season. Combine that with the fact Austin Matthews has 31 goals in 38 games. All leads you to one indisputable, undeniable truth. This is the best Leafs team I've seen on paper and on the ice in nearly 20 years. What we're also seeing is a mental shift within the organization. Prior to the year, the goal was win a playoff round. I believe after everything we've seen, the goal now is clearly win the darn cup. <laughs> Nick Kiprios, that, went, that line went over well in the room, Nick Kiprios of line moving. Uh, Nick Kiprios has forgotten more about hockey than I'll ever know. Good friend. How you doing, brother? I'm well. How are you? You, you think Leaf fans don't feel the same way waiting all these years? To hear those words that uh, this is our best chance in over 20 years, that's what it's all about. So I think you're right, Sid, when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs and where they're at and the sense of urgency uh, to do this right now. Is it is it desperate right now from Kyle Dubas? I, I wouldn't say it like that, knowing that Matthews and Marner are tied into long-term deals still. Uh, they're two of the best superstars in the league is as well as uh, Dreisaitl and McDavid right now in Edmonton. So there is, though, the sense that we've got to go for that now. You mentioned all the changes that the Leafs made. Uh, let's not forget how many draft picks they've lost in in the next uh, draft coming up Good in point. 2022. They, uh, the, the, the cupboards are empty right now when it comes to draft choices because of the fact that uh, Kyle Dubas wants to go for it right now. Again, trade deadline is 3 p.m. Eastern today. Kipper, two quick things. Do you think Dubas is done? It certainly feels like he's done. Do you think he's done weaving his salary cap magic? And if you're the other teams in the North who are going to be in that playoff mix, Edmonton, Montreal, Winnipeg, do they look at this and say, okay, now we have to do something before 3 o'clock today? Without a doubt uh, on the latter part, especially the Montreal Canadiens. I think there's a ton of pressure on Montreal and Bergevin to still step up. They lost Gallagher. Uh, so they're going to try to wiggle some extra salary cap room like we've just seen out of the Toronto Maple Leafs with Felino's contract coming in at $1.3 million on a real deal of $5.5 million. So Montreal is going to have to do that. As far as the Toronto Maple Leafs are concerned, I think, Sid, at the beginning of, of the season, there was a wish list to improve uh, some more depth on the blue line. I, I think it's uh, performed exceptionally well. And I think uh, Dubas is very happy with it so far. But if there's a chance to maybe add one more fifth or sixth defenseman, just in case somebody gets hurt, much like we saw Riddick get involved in the goaltending situation, if he can go out there, he's looking. Let's just say that. Uh, I don't think the store is completely shut down, but he's going to have to be very careful on what he wants to give up from here on in and how deep of a, a depth guy he wants. There's a few out there. Um, but I don't think uh, there's a sense of urgency to, to add a defenseman as there was uh, probably two, three months ago. Uh, that, that is tasty for Leaf fans to hear, though, if there's going to be more moves. Speaking of tasty, latest little Buddha drink at LCBO, Kipper and Man in Many Hats. What's the latest? What should we be looking for? Yes. Yeah, we, uh, well, what do you do in a pandemic? You find different ways. We, we launched uh, a, a beverage company, a uh, little Buddha cocktail, and now we got our second flavor in the LCBO. So, Sid, your backyard is all set now Ooh. for the next month. Let's go. That Leafs lineup looking full. My fridge looking full, Kipper. Love you. Appreciate it. I'll get you. you. I'll, I'll get you somehow. There you go. Again, entrepreneur extraordinaire, Nick Kiprios. Thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, the Leafs staying on the Habs tonight. Right now, if the playoffs started today, that's your first round matchup. Uh, let's sound off coming up after the break. You sound off specifically. Do stay-at-home orders work? You saw some pictures over the weekend. Trinity Bellwoods, again, it was full. Was it too full? 
What do you think? Mark and I will take your calls after the break. 1-866-267-3797. That's the email address. That's the Twitter address. You sound off next at 645. Good morning, Tarana. You're watching BT.